All right, welcome to doing photography on an iPad. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this project here. Now here it is, here's my iPad, and there are people out there that say, iPads, they can't take very good photos, but you and I know better. iPads can take amazing photos. In fact, there are photographers out there that are totally devoted to taking photos with iPhones, iPods, and iPads, and they're gonna do great work with it. So let's get right into it. The first thing we need to do is we need to open up the camera app. So. Here's my iPad right here. Oh, and in the background here, this is Bob the Puppet, this guy. We're gonna take some photos of him in just a moment here. All right, so um, anyhow, I'm going to open up the camera app. There we go. And you wanna make sure these little faint grid lines are on there. We use those to center our shots and to make them look good, or actually to not center our shots. Uh, if they're not on there, let me just show you how to turn that on. Uh, just go to settings up here. And then when settings opens up, you can go ahead and find the setting on the side here for photos and camera, and then it's down here at the bottom, and it's just called uh, grid, and you wanna be able to make sure that that little green thing is, is turned on so you see the grid. Okay, now that we have the grids turned on, let's go ahead and open up the camera app again, and let's get ready to really start taking a shot here. So let me show you what these grids are all about. The grids, where they intersect, these four points, are the interesting parts of a photo. So and if you have something with eyeballs, so a person, or in this case, Bob the Puppet, you wanna put their eyes right on that top line. And usually their nose or something around there where their nose is, that intersection right there. So actually where Bob is, is a great place. And I can just go ahead and press the shutter button. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're taking a, a shot of Bob right there. And, and th so these are the interesting points. And so I could actually do it like this, and that would make for a really weird photo, put Bob's eyes down here at the bottom but I don't think that looks very good. So at those intersections are where we're going to be using things today. Now, um, something you've got to know is how to trick the camera to do things and how to lock the exposure and the focus. So if I hold down on Bob's nose right here, okay, it says now AE lock and AF lock up here. So that's auto exposure and auto focus. So no matter where I actually put this, it's gonna stay locked on whatever the light was and the focus was for Bob the Puppet here. So I can just go ahead and snap a shot. To turn it off, you just can tap in the screen and it will turn it off, okay? But that's how you lock the focus. There are times we need to do that. Watch, if I wanted to get Bob out of focus, I could come in really close to Bob. I could make sure it focuses right onto his nose. Okay, that's focused. I'm gonna actually press and hold. Now it's locked it. And now if I back it up here to you, okay, See, Bob's actually out of focus now. I could force it to be out of focus because I locked the focus way down here, and now that I've changed it, it doesn't work very good. There are times when we really need to use the auto focus and the auto lock, um, the auto exposure and the auto focus lock, and you'll see those coming up when we do the scavenger hunt. But basically, that's how to run the camera app. This is the shutter button here. Oh, and the other thing, always take photos this way. Never this way. Okay, especially videos, very rarely do we ever wanna take them this way. Since all the screens that we view these on, TVs, computer screens, all those things, they all go this way, that's why we take photos this way. And it used to be called, in the olden days of photography, this was portrait mode, this was landscape mode, but now we do everything this way. Landscape, portraits, everything are this way. Let me get another great shot of Bob here, more close up here. Oh, Bob, you're looking good today, buddy. Remember, same thing, eyes on that line at that intersection, and you know, if you notice, I always take a couple of shots. I always take two, probably three or four shots every time because, I mean, shots are free, man. Take as many as you need, but it's better to have too many shots than to have not enough shots. Oh, I have two more things I wanna show you before I turn you loose and you can become these great iPad photographers. The first is, is that some of you know about the zoom function that's available inside the camera app. Let me just go ahead and get my camera app opened up here. And you um, can be able to zoom, so let me get, over there, there's the window right there, right? We're looking out the window, and I can actually pinch and I can zoom into that. Do you see I'm just pinching and zooming? Don't ever use that, okay? Um, it's, it's called a digital zoom, and digital zooms are bad, okay? They never look good. Now, they might do in a pinch, uh, get it, pinch, but you know, you never want to use them, so I don't ever use them for any of the projects you're gonna turn into me, because I will tell. I'll be like, hey, why is the photo so fuzzy and bad? You'd be like, oh, because I use digital zoom. So don't ever use the pinch zoom function. In fact, what I like to do is I like to tap twice in the middle, just tap, tap, there we go, come on. There we go, just, just to make sure it's, it is zoomed all the way out. So just, you know, really make sure it's good there. Okay, so we're good to go there. And then the last thing I want to show you is that, you know, my camera, my little camera right there, my little lens, um, it does have a minimum 
distance it needs to be able to focus. And it usually is about anywhere from two to eight inches, depending on the version of iPad that you have. So if you come up to a flower and you put it, the lens, you know, like this close to the flower, it's not going to focus, okay? It's just going to be like, oh, I can't do that. So you got to back it up, back it up, keep tapping in the middle to focus. And that's one thing you got to realize. If you want to focus on something, it's called tap to focus. You just kind of tap on the screen, it knows, hey, I got to focus right there, or tap over here. Oh, hey, I'm going to focus out there. That's how tap to focus works. So it does have a minimum distance, so it's not focusing. Back up your camera a little bit, and no digital zooms. All right, go have fun.